Hi everyone, it's me, Vintage Gaudi. In today's video I want to show you my Barbie for McDonald's collection. And here we can see all my miniature versions from Barbie dolls. These dolls are made um, for McDonald's in the Happy Meals back then in the 90s and early 2000s. So I got here tons of different years and I want to show you each of them plus on some of these dolls I have the original version of it so we can make a comparison in detailing and how they looked in the original version, how they looked in the mini version for McDonald's. Let's start with the oldest ones that I have. So technically it's only one doll. So let, put, let me put them aside a little bit like this. So actually <laughs> she is the oldest McDonald's doll that I have. She is from the year 1991. And she is Hawaiian Fun Barbie. She looks so adorable. I love this detailing on her. Really amazing. And I do have the original version of her. That's here. <laughs> so we got a mini me from the Hawaiian Fun Barbie. And her original. So this is the Barbie. How she looks. And her um, bikini, her swimsuit. And we can see some really cute detailing on it. So uh, I like the color scheme. She has some bright colors. Unfortunately, my doll is missing this, um, this pink towel and the, the, the handbag, but um, really cool. I like how they made the detailing. So the top of the bikini looks really cute, really accurate. Um, and I like that they put her on a platform. So like a beach sand and we got some shells sea stars is <laughs> so really cute i really love it i really like her from the year 1991 then technically not a barbie but a disney doll i don't know from which year she is but she's from the style similar to the one from 1991 so i'm assuming that they are so quite in the same time produced so this is belle the disney belle from beauty and the beast um, and she looks also really stunning. I love these bigger platforms and these cute detailings here. The roses and her outfit, so stunning. Now we do a time jump because we got here the 1991 and the next dolls that I have in my collection are from 1995. So we got here all of these dolls that are from 1995 and I think this is yeah, this is the era that I have the most of it. Um, just to clarify, I do not primarily collect this Barbie for McDonald's dolls. I just came across occasionally in a Barbie lot there were these mini fig figurines inside. And I did not only buy it because of the figurines, because I did buy it because of the Barbie stuff in there. And then I was like, hey, these are technically mini versions of the bigger ones that you can buy, of the original ones. And that made, made me so much fun. And yeah, <laughs> that's why I now have some of these Barbie McDonald's dolls. Um, because they, yeah are technically minimis from the <laughs> from the older ones but still I do not primarily collect these ones I only collect it when I have them in my collection as bigger versions so um, every bigger version has a mini me <laughs> that's that's the kind of fun that I have with these little ones I do have from the year 1995 three dolls that are from the dolls of the world I have found her recently at this giant flea market that I um, that I was between the Swiss, Swiss border and the German border and I had immediately to take her because look how amazing she is. She looks stunning and I found out that she's from the Dolls of the World Japan, Japan doll. Um, she looks so cute. I like her outfit. Really, really adorable. Unfortunately, on the doll itself, there are no markings, so I cannot really say for 100% sure that it is um, from the year 1995 but she came in a set where also this doll and this doll um, were from the year 1995 so I'm assuming that she will be from the same year. Japan doll then I have found her also at the same flea market together with the Japan doll and I found out that she is the Dutch doll from Dolls of the World. 
so she looks also really stunning i like her braids they are i think they are um, the original ones because they have this corched and all this um or the most of these dolls of for mcdonald's had this cord here and um yeah this is my dutch doll so cool then i got her unfortunately this poor girl lost a lot of hair i don't know what they did with her hair but technically the half of the hair or half of the scalp is bald and the rest of the hair is gone so this is the only remaining things said but um yeah i could find out who she is she is the 1995 mexican doll and she usually had long hair but <laughs> it's gone so you can see here all this hair is gone here are some hair missing and on the other side so she went through rough times but now she's here in my collection and can relax a little bit <laughs> so this is the mexican doll and she has markings so um under her skirt you can see here 1995 mcdonald's no it says not mcdonald's it says 1995 mattel so I'm technically not sure if these dolls of the world were made for McDonald's or if they were made for like collectibles. But they have the size from these McDonald's figurines. So I'm, yeah, putting them together in that pile. Then I have here three, no, four icons that maybe you will recognize them. I'm starting with this piece here. She is the 1995 Cut and Style Barbie. <laughs> she is so amazing. And I love also the platform she comes with in this triangle. And in the back side, you can see a mirror and some, um, yeah perfume bottles creams <laughs> so technically this is a vanity and on the back side you can see she is made for mcdonald's the year 1995 and she looks amazing really long hair as she's supposed to come in the bigger version and guess what we do have a cut and style barbie here so we got here a mini me <laughs> from the cut and style barbie from my version looks so cute i love the detailing they put on these toys even though they are i will say kind of cheaper in detailing but still in 1995 they had some detailing where you can definitely tell who they are how they look <laughs> so yeah this is the mini me for my cut and style bar but you can see the dress the poofy dress this vest so really amazing also the shoes and <laughs> they painted all her shoes on um wow so cute obviously the face sculpt is different according to the size obviously but also in um the painting so she has an open mouth she can with a closed mouth it's some kind of little detailing but you definitely can tell this is a cut and style barbie then let's go with the next one this one here i immediately recognize her because she is um 1995 winter sports barbie i think in the same year they came out the ski fun barbie and this does look for me at first really similar of course they came with different outfits but um yeah it, it for me the ski fun and the winter sports barbie are some kind of topics that goes in one in another and makes it hard for me to make a difference um but i do have here a doll she is actually the ski fan barbie doll and not the winter sports but she's wearing the the outfit from the winter sports barbie so we can see here the jacket that she also is wearing and we can see also the jumpsuit <laughs> so yeah probably it's the same or i think she is definitely winter sports barbie this one also the, the McDonald's one, I think. Yeah, this must be a winter sports Barbie. She <laughs> looks gorgeous anyways, but the jacket is iconic. I can immediately recognize and the, the, the jumpsuit looks similar. It has not that much detailing than on the original, but um, yeah, you can tell it's winter sports Barbie. Really cute. Then I do have this girl here and I immediately recognize because I had her as a child, not the, not the McDonald's one, but the original one. 
and she's actually dance move Barbie and I had her as a child this is actually not my childhood dance move Barbie but I had to rebuy her and wow I love her I love her outfit she looks so cute um, also the platform really amazing with this um, yeah typical signs for music we got here the note we got here uh, how was it called? Not the CD, the other ones. <laughs> um, yeah, anyways, you can say she has something to do with music and that's what Dance Move Barbie also has to do, music and dancing. And here we go. This is the mini-me of the Dance Move Barbie. <laughs> she looks so stunning. Then the last doll from 1995 is actually her. And I was not sure because I was first thinking about um, peaches and cream Barbie because of the color of the outfit, but she's not. I think, no, she's not. Um, then I was thinking of Songbird Barbie. I do have actually a Songbird Barbie here, but I think she's also not a Songbird Barbie. And while researching, I came up with the 1995 Butterfly Barbie or Butterfly Princess Barbie. I think she is Butterfly Princess Barbie and not Songbird, but technically from the dress. So with the detailing, um, she can also be a Songbird Barbie. Obviously, yes, she has butterflies that indicates who she really is. But with the dress on the, but uh, on the Songbird Barbie with these flowery details, you can say you can tell it could also be her. So, well, <laughs> I just wanted to show you the differences, Songbird and Butterfly Barbie. Sadly, I don't have the Butterfly Barbie in my collection, but um, yeah, for me, she looks also kind of Songbird Barbie. <laughs> um, that's her, Butterfly slash Songbird Barbie. Now we do another time jump because we are now leaving the 1995 and we are going to the year 1998 and 99. So we got here from the year um, 1998. I do have this doll here. Unfortunately, I could not identify her. Um, I'm not sure where she belongs and which set she was. Um, but this is a 1998 doll, Barbie doll for McDonald's. Then we go to another one and we got a Kelly doll. This super adorable Kelly doll. Um, I immediately recognize her also because I have her in my collection. She's Eating Fun Kelly. So this is my Eating Fun Kelly. I do also have the chair itself, but I just wanted to show you her how, yeah how she is. So we got here the mini me from Eating Fun Kelly and this one works. It has some kind of interaction. So when you put the bowl aside, then her hands are lifting up and down. So adorable. So do she because she has also this yeah, button here. And then when you put the button up and down, she's moving one hand, <laughs> supposed to eat something. So yeah, obviously Eating Fun Kelly. Then I have also this girl here. She is from the year 1997 originally, but she is marked 1998. This is Extreme Green Barbie or Skipper? Extreme Green Barbie. I think she was Extreme Green Barbie. And I actually have her <laughs> in the bigger version. So we got also a mini me for my Extreme Green Girl from cool colors. So yeah, I immediately recognize her because of the outfit. Um, I think this kind of trousers are yeah, not so often in Barbie world. I think they are quite unique um, with this type of fabric. So I immediately recognize this mini me. <laughs> and yeah, it looks quite similar. Um, they did not so with the detailing. So in 1995, we got quite some of detailing. 98, yeah, we got Eating Fun Kelly, so you can definitely tell it's her. But on this doll, um, they, yeah, missed some kind of detailing because the top of her or the shirt, she's supposed to have a lot of different colors. So stripes here, they are missing. Um, she has no platform. So also this doll from 98 came without a platform. So they, yeah, <laughs> didn't want to do a platform anymore. 
So she can actually stay, but it's quite difficult. So um, a platform would have been really nice if they would put a platform on her. But yeah, actually that's my extreme green mini me. <laughs> so cool. Then we do another time jump in the year 2000. In the year 2000, I have one doll that I still could not identify. It's her. She looks like something Hawaiian, but I could not find out any type of Barbie that looks like her. <laughs> so yeah, also in the year 2000s, they came without a platform. They came like, yeah, like it is, no extra detailing. Um, she has the marking on where it says she is from the year 2000. Um, and she has some kind of this button, but when you press it, nothing happens. So I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, um, but it yeah, doesn't work. <laughs> or if, if or if this button is only made for factory reasons, I'm not sure. But this is this kind of Hawaiian girl. She has a beautiful flower in her hair and she also has this, um, yeah, different colors. So in her hair, she has blue blue detailing in it. So really cute. Then I do also have another girl. We got her. This one is from also the year 2000. She is a Hollywood Nails Barbie. And I immediately recognized because of the shape of the skirt, this long pencil skirt, the top of it. But again here, no really detailing anymore. So they didn't want to do the detailing because this is my Hollywood Nails Barbie and you can tell her shirt has star detailing. This one, no detailing at all. Then the skirt itself has also some printed on detailings and that's missing on her too. But um, I could immediately recognize her as um, Hollywood Nails Barbie. She also has painted nails. Let me just show you. Um, yeah, that's a cute detail. So yeah, you can definitely tell Hollywood Nails Barbie as on the bigger version, she has also painted on nails. These are these two girls. And now I forgot to mention one doll from the year 1999. So we do a little jump back in the year 1999 and this is the ballerina doll. I could not identify her um, to which set she belongs. So this is a ballerina doll. She came with this platform where you, should, you can actually put her inside. And I think there was a piece in here so you can make her twirl around. Um, but that piece is missing and I could not identify who she is. She has definitely cut hair so you can see here the hair is gone, <laughs> but you can move her arms up and down. She, I don't know if this ballerina skirt is original on her, but um, yeah, it matches. It looks, it looks cute. Then the last doll that I want to show you is actually this one here. I have no clue who she is, where she belongs. I was first thinking of, yeah, um, like fa Western Fun Barbie, but Western Fun Barbie has other outfit on. So if you know, you can tell me um, who she is, where she belongs. Um, actually, she has also no markings on it. So it says only Mattel for McDonald's, but not no year in technically. So I don't know which year she is. Is she, yeah, 95, 96, 97, 98. I will say she will definitely belong to the 90s dolls according to the detailing and the quality of these pieces. The horse feet are movable. So yeah, um, no, her arm is not movable. She has a little bit of real hair. Oh, that is also a detail that I want to show you. While on the 1991 doll, she has no real hair, so you cannot brush her hair. But on the 1995 dolls, they came with brushable hair. So I don't know when in between of these girls they used r real hair, so doll's hair. But um, yeah, at some point they decided to do real brushable hair and I think that's cute. So this one is actually my last <laughs> doll in my McDonald's Mini-Me collection. Do you also collect these Mini-Me dolls? 
If so, write me down in the comment section below which one you have and which one is your absolute favorite. I have quite some of my favorites. I like definitely her from the year 1991. Um, she looks stunning, but I also love the Dolls of the World dolls and these ones that I have actually as a child, like the Dance Move Barbie. Um, later on, early 2000s, yeah, um, they're missing a bit of detailing, but I think they're still cute. <laughs> what do you think about these dolls? Write it down in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click the subscribe button. Go and check out my other videos on my YouTube channel. And we'll see us in the next video with Vintage Gaudi. Bye.